Hey y'all, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are going to be talking about how to raise and lower the pH of our hair products for maximum results. Because last week y'all had a lot of questions about raising and lowering, well especially raising the pH of your products. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you two ways to raise your products and two ways to lower your products. Now I'm going to be using one ingredient that I would say is more cosmetic and one ingredient that you might just have lying around in your kitchen. All right, well, I know I said that I would be talking about um, the health of your scalp and how to take care of your scalp this week, but I felt like this deserved its own video. So next week we'll be jumping into that series. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to begin this process by making a 10% lye solution. Now if you guys have never used sodium hydroxide or lye, you need to make sure you take the following precautions to wear protective clothing, cover your eyes, cover your hands, and be in a well-ventilated area. Alright, so we're going to be using 90 grams of distilled water. Next we're going to pour the sodium hydroxide or the lye into the water. You want to make sure you do it this way and never do it the opposite way. Now, once the lye has been added, stir this with a silicone spoon until the mixture cools down. You know, this is an exothermic reaction, which means it's going to give off a lot of heat. So continue stirring. The container will become cloudy and stir for about a minute or so until the mixture becomes clear and then set this off to the side to cool all the way down. While the mixture is cooling, we are going to begin with our acids. Now I'm going to use aloe vera, but you can use either aloe or apple cider vinegar if you have that. And I'm going to use citric acid. All right, so let's begin first with the aloe vera. Now I'll be using my liquid aloe vera form and I want you to test the pH of your aloe so you know where your starting point is at, okay? All right, so I'm going to pour about 70 grams of distilled water into my container here. And then again, as well, test the pH of your water to see where you're at, all right? Now the water is representative of a product that you may have, which should be around about 6.5 to 7, which again is too high where we want it to be. And we're going to use our aloe vera to lower that pH. Now the key here, y'all, is to always start with small increments of adding aloe or any type of acid to your mixture. You'd be surprised at how quickly the pH changes. All right, so we're gonna test this here. And that little bit brought the pH down to about 3.5 to four. All right, so let's move along right to the citric acid. And I'm gonna tell y'all, use a little bit. Start with a little bit because citric acid will really, really bring down this very, very quickly. So I'm using a 1 8 teaspoon. And I'm going to try to measure out as little as possible and pour this into there very slowly. I didn't even use the full 1 8 and I'm going to stir it up and then check the pH. Wow, y'all. We have already brought the pH all the way down to a 2 from a 7. So you know when you're adding citric acid, always, always start very, very slow, okay? All right, now we're going to move to our bases or our alkaline ingredients. And we're going to begin with that sodium hydroxide or that lye water. And I have a pipette here and I'll leave it down below if you guys are interested in buying some. And I'm going to add about five to 10 small drops into our water to see how much it takes. Now recall, this is a citric acid solution. It was already added too. So adding just a little bit of sodium hydroxide already brings us up to about a three to 3.5. And I wanna go in to add a little bit more, about another five to 10 drops to try to bring this up to about a 4.5 to five pH. All right, so that was enough. That did it, that brought the pH right to where we want it. Perfect for our hair. So we're going to start with baking soda on this side. Remember the pH was at a 4.0. We're going to add just a little bit here to try to raise the pH of this side. Stir it to let it all dissolve and then check the pH. Y'all, and look how quickly it brought up the product to about a 5.5 to a 6. But you know what, let's just keep going. I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda to this mixture, stir it up. And wow, you guys, we are already at a 7.5. So y'all, it really takes a little bit to make a big, big difference. All right, so I just want to come on and give you guys some last minute tips, whether you're lowering or raising the pH of your products, is to always do so very, very slowly. If you can find some pipettes, um, I'll actually link them down in my Amazon store. 
do that at a little bit and a little bit at a time until you really get to understand how much or how little is needed to raise or lower the pH of your products. Always make sure you wear protective clothing, especially if you're going to be dealing with the live water solution. Always wear gloves, always have your goggles on, and always be in a ventilated area so that you do not breathe in those caustic lye fumes. If you wanna learn a little bit more about sodium hydroxide, as I know it has a bad reputation and a bad name, but if you're actually curious why it's okay to use in our cosmetic products in this particular dilution, I'll leave an article down below. And if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget next week, we'll be talking about the health of our scalp and how we can maintain the health of our scalp. But that's it for this week's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.